My sister Hannah and I rescued a tortoise that has been covered, painted in toxic paint. So this paint is definitely not supposed to be on there. And this tortoise was definitely burned at some point. Oh, we just kind of want to get this nice and moist. Because look, this piece is just completely peeling oh, up. Yeah, oh I my gosh, look, look how guys. thick that is. That's what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here well i'm jacob and welcome to my jungle if you guys saw the title and thumbnail well you will know for today's video that my sister hannah and i rescued a tortoise that has been covered painted in toxic paint yes you heard that right this tortoise has been covered in paint we're not sure what kind of paint this is all we know is this tortoise has been covered in this paint and we are going to do everything in our power to get this paint off but before we actually go and remove this paint from this tortoise well guys everyone has been so concerned about nebula and how she is doing well i actually just got back the culture report from my vet and she has pseudomonas now pseudomonas is what would be causing this green discharge that nebula has had and if you guys don't know who Nebula is, well, when you're done with this video, go watch the last video. You'll get to learn about Nebula, my clouded leopard. She has been very sick, and we've been taking all of the proper protocols to get her healthy by taking her to Dr. Harris, which is one of the best exotic vets here in the country. So I already went to Dr. Harris's office, and he actually gave me these Batro pills. So right now, twice a day for the next three weeks, Nebula is going to be getting these pills. Right here is these Batro pills. So Nebula is going to, again, going to be getting two of these pills twice a day for the next three weeks. So hopefully. Hopefully by giving Nebula these pills, we are going to get her happy and healthy once again. But now on to today's video, this rescued tortoise that has been covered in paint. I'm not going to tell you guys any more about this, so if you want to see how this tortoise is, how much paint is on it, if we're going to be able to get this toxic paint off, well guys, you are in the right place and well, we're going to hop right into that. All right guys, I just got over here to my parents' house and I am with my sister Hannah and Hannah just rescued the craziest thing like this was a, this was pretty cool and a first so hannah yes. why don't you tell us what did you find I'm not... so it was through a family friend they they bought it for their kids they didn't want this tortoise anymore uh -huh. and i didn't know the conditions of this guy but when i got him he was literally covered in paint as if the kids would just play with him and paint him well that's terrible because the last thing you ever want to do is paint your tortoise because the shell is actually a part of his body so Let's stop talking about it, Hannah. Why don't you get this guy out for us? Because, okay. wow, this is where we I used to keep tortoises, and now Hannah has her own tortoises here. And Hannah's opening it on up right now. One, two, three. Okay. Wait, grab him. Okay. You got him? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's covered in paint. Yeah, it's really, really oh. bad. And I got most of it off, or some of it off but it's still really really bad so we've been working on it every day so this paint is definitely not supposed to be on there and we don't know what kind of paint this is or what kind of chemical this could be on the shell which could really be detrimental to this tortoise's health now this is a beautiful male red foot tortoise now you know he's a male because he's got that concave shell for mounting i'll put a picture of that on the screen that's the red foots when they breed and that's how we know that this big guy is a male and i'm not sure if you see that right there do you see that hannah what that looks like an old burn on him like oh a long i didn't even time notice ago, that this tortoise got burned this makes me suspect that this tortoise is probably at least 50 years old 40 oh, to wow. 50 years old just because of how worn out his shell is so that's burn there and i think i noticed it yeah right there too this tortoise was definitely burned at some point you can see where he probably got burned on a heat lamp because you can see where a heat lamp and probably you can see in the him. front right here too right oh yeah he's missing some chunks out of his shell so this guy has definitely had what seems to be a rough life so today i am going to be giving this tortoise a soak and we're going to be trying to remove as much of this paint that we can um, as safely as possible. So why don't we get this guy soaking, Hannah? All right, let's do it. All right, so I've got the red foot and I'm just putting him in the bin right now. And Hannah, why don't you fill it up with some water? So we're gonna kind of rinse him off and you can see just how bright and vivid that paint is now that it's wet. We're gonna get him soaked and nice and hydrated and hopefully that paint will come off easy. All right, and I think that's good, Hannah. So the tortoise is soaking in the bin right now. We just kind of want to get this nice and moist because we want to be able to try and get this paint off. Now, again, we don't know what kind of paint this is. If it's an oil-based paint, well, that could have some toxic chemicals in it, so we definitely want to get that off, but there's really no way to tell. So we're going to keep this guy soaking, and I'll be back with all of you once we're going to peel the paint. One hour later. All right, big boy. So this guy's been soaking. He got nice and hydrated. Now, he didn't have any poops, but this guy is just beautiful. So we're going to get this guy set up. Let's go right over here, Hannah. And so we made this little table for the tortoise right here. And these dental tools are very blunt, so they're not really going to dig into the shell too much. But I kind of want to start 
right here on these thick bands. Now this tortoise right here, oh wow, this is, okay, so we just wanna gently get some of it up. We just wanna gently get some of this up. As you can see, I'm using not the pick itself, but the backside of it, and just kinda using that as like a little paint chisel, and you can see we're getting this up actually a lot easier than I thought. Now this tortoise is wanting to move, but this is great news that we're able to do this just so easily to be able to come here and scrape the paint off without hurting the shell at all. We're just able to kind of get this off nice and easy. And look right here, you can see where there's several layers of paint where it was red, yellow, and then this light pink, which is pretty crazy to think that this tortoise was painted this much. And that's really sad. If you guys have a pet tortoise, you definitely don't want to paint them. It's not good for them. You guys may think it's cool, but it's definitely not cool for the animal. They don't want to be painted. When you actually paint them, they're not able to absorb as much of the UVB on their shell because it's blocked by the paint. This is going just according to plan, actually a lot better than plan. You can see the tortoise is trying to fight me on this. Hey buddy, man, why are you fighting me on this? Hannah, does he have a name yet? Uh, yeah, it's Picasso. Picasso? Oh, that's a great name for him. So, obviously he's called Picasso because of his painted shell, but we're gonna try to get this paint off. Right, we're gonna put Picasso back down right here, and we're gonna try and get more of this paint off. Is did you think it was going to be this easy, Hannah? No, I did not. I didn't think so either. As you can see, we're just getting that off right here. We see this a lot here in Florida with our native gopher tortoise, which is actually a protected species. People will spray paint them. They'll take them as pets, but they actually need our help and protection. So again, guys, when you paint your tortoise, it's not okay because once, you, once this paint is on the tortoise, when he's out in the sun basking, this paint is literally going to bake onto his shell and make it that much harder for it to come off. So that's definitely what happened here. I'm not sure how long this paint has been on this guy, but we're definitely gonna try and you know get it all off and get him back to normal. So while Hannah's holding Picasso because he's trying to move around, I'm gonna try and pick some of these hibiscus leaves. So the great thing about this setup is the branches, is the bush that's in here is actually edible to him. So do you know if he likes uh, hibiscus, Hannah? I think he was eating it the other day. Picasso. You want some hibiscus? Hannah, are you sure he likes hibiscus? He does, he's just a little food shy. All right, Hannah, you trying to get some of this off right now? There's something like wedged in there, you see that? Really? You see, I don't know. I don't know what that is either, but maybe we, let's just leave that alone. But you can see with just ease, this tool is working really well. Why don't we try to get some of this right here, Hannah? Mm -hmm. We're gonna try and get the thickest lines first and then move to the small little spots. Look, this piece is just completely peeling oh, up. Yeah, oh I my gosh, look, that, look how guys. thick that is. That's a whole thick line that Hannah's oh been able to goodness. get up. You got it? Oh my look, gosh, look, look at, at that. that. Look at these piece. pieces right here. Giant pieces of paint right there. And Wait, let's get that little part. This is crazy, Hannah. Oh my gosh. All right, we almost got it. Uh, I think that that's good for today. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm thinking so too. I think we need to give him a little break. Yeah, guys, we're not gonna be able to do this all in one shot. Like Hannah has been doing, we gotta do just a little bit every day and in probably a couple weeks we'll be able to get it all off. But we don't wanna stress this guy out too much. We wanna put him back in his pen right here. So that is going to end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed to watching today's video, scraping the paint off of this rescue tortoise. Um, I'm glad he was able to find our way into our lives so we can give him the best possible care. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if we should get a friend for Picasso. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me or my sister, you want to see what happens to this tortoise, you want to see all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever we post.